Hello guys, I'm Art of Gaming. Welcome to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the puzzle shape 2 housing block. So let's get to the map. Just to let you know I have saved the map so that I don't have to put up with small map. Okay, let's pause this game and let's choose this as our corner for our block. Put our wall here. Aesthetic, space for aesthetic, two space for the house, two space for the house, and, and two space for the road. Same here, two space for the house, two space for the road, and this will be our corner. Remember guys, if you're playing normal or or hard difficulty, is $2. On very hard, is $3 per row tiles. So we're going to go um, 6 row tiles, since we have 1 already, so we'll go to 5. But total is 6. So. 6 times 2 is 12. Then from here we go to 4. 4 tiles. 4 times 2 is 8. Then from here we go to 6 tiles. 6 times 2 is 12. Then down here we go to 5 tiles. 5 times 2 is 10. Then 4 tiles. 4 times 2 is 8. Then 6 tiles. 6 times 2 is 12. And then down here we go all the way to 5 tiles, 5 times 2 is 10. We go to 5 tiles, 5 times 2 is 10. Then we go here, 4 tiles, 4 times 2 is 8. Then from here we go to 6 tiles, 6 times 2 is 12. Then here we go to 5 tiles, 5 times 2 is 10. Then we go here to 4 tiles, 4 times 2 is 8. And from there we go to 5,000, 5,000 is 10. This shape, it looks like the shape of a puzzle. Right guys, I'll show you in a second. But let me know what shape should we call this. Should we call it ninja star shape? Or um, stealth plane shape? or aircraft shape then we just fill it up with houses these four corners first then we fill it up with um, Grandway we go that size first then this side then down here and here Then we fill up the rest of the house inside. Create the ground inside here. Just do exactly what I do and you should be fine. Um, remember the, the, instead of the walls, just put trees. So get rid of that wall, which I'll show you in, in, after we're done with this. And don't forget to give access to the inspector with all these four gates. Total is six gate, which, which you will we'll see in a sec. Well, we're gonna put a bridge over so that our house does not appear on us. Don't forget to put a road so they have access to that house. On this corner, we're gonna put a tax office.
Then we're going to put a well. Put a road. We will put an acupuncturist on this, on this corner here. Acupuncturist. Then put a house. Put a road here. We're gonna put, we're gonna use this as our, um, Market, market square corners for our market. Get access to food peddler and religious. Food peddler and religious access to this gateway. Ancestor shrine. Buddhist shrine. Okay, we're gonna put a gateway for inspector tower to get the access. Then we're gonna put a inspector tower here. Herbalist So don't don't forget to do exactly as I do and you should be fine. There's no you shouldn't have any problem when you're running your city with this block. Then we will just fill it up with the remaining uh walls. Try your best to limit of deleting stuff or making mistakes so you don't waste a lot of money. Because our money is very limited. Put that gateway so we stop these religious folks from going back and forth, wasting um, their uh, footsteps. So they can walk the entire loop. This they should be able to walk the entire loop regardless if that gate is there or not. Common market square. If you do like this, like I did, You'll, you'll never have a, um, inspection tower problem on this block. You'll see, I just delete that gate so that he can walk all the way, oh, oh, all the way in instead of spawning on the market square area. With that being said, if you do that, you will have 
a total of six inspector tower in this block instead of four, which is very excessive according to me. Okay, we're going to fill it up with trees. So, so if you do exactly like this, your puzzle shape two housing block will look exactly like this. All right, guys, I'll let you guys check it out to see it for yourself that it does work. This is a spy did this because you would obviously see I have food. Oh, never ran out of food. So to check it out, let me know what you think. Comment below. The only thing that will sometimes cause problems for you is the ancestral shrine and the buddhist monk because they walk very slow that sometimes these houses evolve by 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 maybe one level that's it ordinate apartments but once you get to it it automatically See, see, one level. After that, he comes by, boom, back up. I forgot to mention this. You remember how I I put a wall here? I got rid of it and I put trees instead. And don't forget to put three gates like this and ha give the inspector access of him. This inspector right here, this inspector tower. So that the reason why I did I put three rings because of the desirability purpose. So that this these two houses here, this one and this one will evolve to luxurious apartment. If not, they don't just stay as ornate apartment instead. So make sure you put like I said three gates two trees instead of a wall same thing right here that's if you want these, these two houses right here to evolve so what do you guys think you know I wish he would have walked this way instead of walk the monk guy gosh Sometime the on my uh, second video of, of this channel, I mentioned about her spawn two of them. Um, ancestral shrine was spawn two of her. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. That depends on where you place it. If you place this on right here, or anywhere on the, inside this block, as long as it does not get destroyed, it was spawn two of them. As you can already already see it a few minutes ago.
Did this prove? Did this work? You can see. Let me know what you think. Are you serious? God, I hate spies. They destroy everything from you. Okay, guys. Uh, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And click on the notification bell so you don't miss anything share this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time take care